Hi, I'm starting this video off in here because it's got way better lighting than the room I'm going to sew in. My microphone's just a sock over my, a clean sock over my phone um, because apparently socks are meant to help with the microphone quality. I don't know how true that is, but we're going to go with it anyway. This The camera's not on a very good height for me to be in this video. And also my puzzle's on the floor. Um, on a piece of hardwood and I keep standing on it and it keeps hurting. I am going to attempt to make this Tuta Matoshi inspired dress. I, I'm i not the best at sewing. I've made a few things, some successful, some very unsuccessful. And I have made a total of two successful dresses and they've both been from the same pattern. We're also going rogue. I've made my own pattern. Um, I have tested it out. I tested it out on this beautiful like sage green material that I got from a charity shop for about one pound and there was just like meters of it and that was very lucky i also made this other dress from it as well which is the dress in question when i said that uh, i had made a successful dress before i took inspiration from this tutorial on youtube you know i just really want a tuta matoshi dress tuta tuta matoshi tuta 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 i'm sorry i wanted this wildflower one and the one i'm making is literally nothing like that i don't know why i didn't try and actually make the wildflower one for myself oh it's for my brother's wedding uh, my brother is getting married in like two and a half weeks and I only bought three meters of this fabric so this needs to work but enough rambling let's actually get to it Welcome to my sewing room. This is the lighting situation because there is one window over that side and it does not get light until later in the day, but it is also pissing it down with rain right now. So it's not going to get any light at all for the rest of the day and probably not for the rest of autumn, winter. So let me actually get for you the prototype. But here it is. Ta -da! Um, as you can see, like I said, this bit is too wide. So it's meant that the cups look a little bit too bulbous. And also this is too gapy. I want the skirt to be bigger and I want it to have like two layers. So this is the prototype dress tried on. And as you can see, I haven't made a zip in the back yet. And the cups are way too round and that's the gaping that I was on about. This bit in the middle was also too big. So I need to change that with the next pattern. So I drafted out a pattern that's here in a little bit more detail. Um, and I made a lining and then the outer fabric for it. So I will put links to this drawing and my measurements, like my general measurements that I used for this in the description, but this isn't really that much of a tutorial video. If you'd like a tutorial, if you like how the dress turned out in the end, then just let me know. I just started by cutting all my lining pieces out and then this is me just pinning them together and stitching it right sides together. And this is my material, it's a satin blend. Um, so here's me absolutely struggling to fit this on my tiny little cutting board and using my rotary rotatory rotary cuff rope cutter to cut out all of these bits and um, but this was this bit for some reason takes it out me every time so these are my body pieces my bodice pieces the next thing i'm gonna do is just pin them all together so that it looks like this one this is my lining so i've got this like cotton and um, so i'm just going to start by sewing all of these pieces right sides together so i've pinned all these right sides together and i'm just gonna sew all down each of the bits to put it together I'm going to sew these armholes together as well at the same time again right sides together and then i'm going to do the same thing where i'm going to pin and straight stitch down my outer fabric um, I think if I sew with the confidence and speed of a seamstress, then that means um, that I am one and everything's gonna go smoothly. Not the case, but so far not looking too bad, not like too much puckering on this material. So what I'm then gonna do now is I'm gonna go press the seams with my iron. And then I've gotta make the channels for the boning and then I've gotta make the boning. Some people are gonna absolutely hate this. I just don't have the time to get boning and learn how to use real boning. And the thing that I've used before, zip ties. I got zip ties that I then wrap in paper tape. I know some people are really anti-zip dye in dresses and I know it'll make it last less like less time. At the same time, I don't even have a serger. Like I don't have an overlocker. So, it's not gonna realistically last the test of time anyway, is what I'm telling myself. But I have my two parts, this the outside, and then I have the lining. I'm just gonna pin it onto my dress form to see if it fits. Be taking it in a bit on the sides, under the arms maybe. I'm 
gonna take it in on either side under the arms about an inch on either side, which means I'm gonna have to press it again. I'm just turning on. Maybe sewing isn't for me. Something always has to go wrong. Well, that's bloody annoying. I'm gonna unpick all of this and then try and take it in again. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start laying my zip ties on the length of all of these bits. So this is how it's looking. And what I'm gonna do now is cut all of these end tabs off and they'll paper tape them together. Oh, look who's joining me again. Hey, baby bobs. This is my upstairs neighbor's cat. And um, she just comes down sometimes. My patio door's open, so she's just here. <laughs> and she loves the teacher. So this is what I mean with the zip ties. I literally just put them together like this. And then I wrap it. And this is my boning. I finished making all of my boning. And I'm gonna make all the channels to go in all of these bits on my lining piece. So I made these channels out of just scrap fabric. Again, they're not perfect, but they're about to go on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. Before we go any further, I wanna try this back on the mannequin. Now I've taken it in and added all the bone. Hola, como esta? So this is the inside, so, so you can see the channels where my boning has gone, here and here, and I've got the nice overlap in the back where we can put the zip. Um, so I'm just going to start by making the sleeves. For the sleeves, I'm literally just going to use like the basic bell shape that I have, but make it much bigger to make them nice big puffy bell sleeves. Also, if you're wondering what this uh, is that I'm using, it's an old shower curtain that I never used that I bought from a market stall, um, like to put up on the side, and it was too clear, so I never used it. And now I'm reusing it as, um, what's it called? The sewing paper where you make a pattern paper. Pattern paper. I'm really, I'm reusing it as pattern paper. So I've taken the measurement of my bicep. That's what's going to be down here for the bottom of the sleeve. I use my basic puff sleeve pattern that does have measurements and then I'm just gonna make it much bigger. So I've decided that before I make the sleeves, I'm actually gonna sew the two pieces together. In some of the other videos I've watched, they don't do this, they do the sleeves and then attach it to the outer layer and then sew it all together, but I couldn't quite work out how they made it work. So I'm just gonna give this a go. So I'm sorry if my rug's like trippy. So I've got the inside layer here with the boning and then I've got the outer layer and I'm just going to I'm gonna sew here all around the arms I'm gonna miss the cups sew the top of here all around the arms and sew the top there so I'm literally going also a random life update for me in the future watching this because I don't think anyone else cares but I watch my own videos back in the future tomorrow I've agreed to do like a last minute beard background extra and I hope it ends in time because I've got a George Ezra concert in the evening so I'm not really gonna, gonna have time to sew today so I'm gonna get as much done as I can now this evening <laughs> to press the seams and then flip it the right side so I can see that it's all gone okay hopefully and then start the sleeves. Here's how it's looking. It's always so underwhelming when you spend so long like doing something and then all you have to show for it is this. I'm really glad that I took in this gap here earlier now. But yeah I'm just gonna get started on making the sleeves. I'm gonna do now is put these flat ends right side together and stitch it there. I'm just gonna press the seam and then I'm gonna put a running stitch along all of this outside bit and all the inside bit and together it. So I'm gonna gather the top and gather the bottom. So I also need to cut out my bicep arm bits. 
and then gather the bottom of it. So, so far I've gathered like the top of it that's gonna go on the shoulder. So you gather it to the same size as the sleeve hole and then I'll attach it right sides together onto the shoulder, which I will show in a bit. But for now, I need to iron this and make the cuff. <laughs> the cuffs so this is them inside out see so yeah, I press the seam here and these are gonna go on my bicep yes they do I just can't go around flexing too hard no flexing on the day now I can gather the bottom so that it's the same size as the sleeve and then I'm just gonna match the seams make sure I match the seams of the gathered bottom to the seams of this, put the right sides together and then sew all together. See, I'm matching up the seams. This is when I wish I had those clips rather than pins. Sewing this bit is like the, one of the hardest parts of making the whole dress. And like, no one ever says that about sewing like ruffled, fabric into cuffs. No one goes like, oh actually I found this bit really difficult. The tutorial is just like, and then sew it. But you'll see what I mean now. It's such like a tight little angle. But there you go. That's what it looks like. And I just double check that that is the right amount. Yep. And then I'm just going to sew all the way around the cuff there. See, that's what I mean. I put, I put the pins on the wrong side. I'm praying it up hit a pin. look a little something like this but now I just need to gather all of this top bit and then attach it to attach the sleeves to the actual bodice I'm gonna go uh, somewhere in a sec but I just want to show my sleeve so this is my first sleeve is attached and then maybe I'll attach the other one later before tomorrow. But yay! It is Wednesday. Two things. I am leaving in like an hour. As much of this dress done as I possibly can. And then I'm seeing George Ezra tonight. And I just found out that the supporting artist is Beatenberg, something like that. Anyway, I'm listening to them now. They're quite chill. And I just got really excited because day glows instagram post i never looked at it and it said that it would come to the uk really soon so i'm very very excited for that so i've just had a coffee gotten excited and now i need to sit down and sew here's the sleeve situation at the moment this one's attached and this is the one that i need to attach now it's not quite flat but i think that's the way i've ironed it as well but i think i'll sort that out once i've done the cups oh sorry didn't mean to grab you <laughs> inanimate <laughs> anyway did the whole sleeve and I'd run out of bobbin thread and now I have to repin and redo the whole sleeve. Take two. I have to say I'm quite in love with how this is looking with the red fabric. I'm gonna actually start on making the cups now and I'm gonna try and make them out of old bras. The only problem is these bras are like quite padded and that's going to be really hard to sew. I do have old like inserts from like sports bras so I might actually work with that instead. Okay so I cut these old cups to size. I hope that they're alright. They're a little bit flimsy but I think they should be okay. So I've cut them to the size I wanted and then I've made this lining for the cups. I'm now going to do the draping. I've made these two like larger bits with my outer fabric that I'm then gonna like work on draping over the top of this. And then I'm gonna sew the lining in, sew that together. And then I think I'm gonna hand stitch onto the dress just cause I'm a little bit nervous about it. My call time's now been moved. So I've got some more time now, but it also means that I might have less time between filming and the concert. So I've just finished the cup draping. So I think I'm going to, I might iron this and then I'll sew it on. I actually don't want to sew the lining on. Oh yeah, yeah, let's just go for it. I've made one cup, but I don't think it's big enough. I feel like the cup isn't quite big enough. I'm just gonna have to do it again.
So I realised that I've grossly underestimated my chest size. I mean, that's one good thing about using an old bra, it gives like an actual comparison, but I've cut quite a lot of the top and the bottom. And as you can see, like, apparently this size, I only left like that much cup, but I need it to go like down here because I need the more depth. So I'm actually just gonna have to take a bigger cut around there. Uh, need to eat lunch and get going to the shoot. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. It is the next day. I did make it to the George Ezra concert for fine. And now I have just been spending ages pleating and draping the cup. I'm still not 100% happy with the drape, but I've really just got to get this dress done at this rate. And I'm now going to hand stitch it because it's just like too thick to put in my machine. So I'm gonna spend the next hour painstakingly hand stitching these cups and then stitching in the lining as well. All right, I just spent ages draping the cups and sewing them into place. I've put the lining on one of them, but not the other one, and I've not really tidied it up. But now I've pinned it all to the inside of the cups, and I just want to see if it fits, because I'm a little bit worried about it. This is gonna be interesting to move around in. But I can't get this any further up, because the actual, like, armhole. So I've successfully hand-stitched one of the cups to the bodice. Because this would be perfect if I had just tried it on a little bit earlier. Okay, so I redid the arms and it fits so much better. It also allowed me to correct like some of the mistakes I had with the gathering as well. But it's so much more comfy now and it'll actually fit my body. So I still haven't attached this cup as you can see by the pins there. But now I'm going to make the skirt. So for the skirt, I'm literally just gonna do a full circle skirt pattern. And it's, because of the length of my fabric, it's gonna be um, 22 centimeters by 22 in the square, but I'm gonna do the seven centimeters for the waist. The other thing I'm doing with this dress is I really want it to have pockets. I've never put in pockets before, but I'm following this tutorial here on how to put them in a skirt. And I really hope it goes well. I'll show you if it does. I am so excited. I've never made pockets before. And look at this. That's a packet. And then I need to do the next layer of the skirt and then gather it all wax. It's not gonna be this length. I wanna do like a ruched underneath. Right, so now that I've tried that on and confirmed that it does fit, and I gathered the skirt and cut like a little bit in the back for the zipper, I'm now just gonna attach these together and then I'm going to attempt to attach the gathered bottom to the bottom of the skirt and see how it looks. This is how it's looking at the moment. I want to add a whole other layer here to make another ruffle. And obviously still got to add this cup in, clean up all the edges. But I do need to run to my netball game. So I will do that and then I'll probably finish this tomorrow. So I don't know when the last time I gave any kind of update was. Also ignore the fact it's even more of a mess than normal. I'm updating the whole sewing space and the whole desk so that I don't end up with this much mess on the floor every time I do anything. I wanted to do another big ruffle layer and I started sewing together all of these pieces and then realised that I didn't have enough just by like a metre. And that was very frustrating because I didn't know when I was going to be able to get to the fabric market next but luckily my brother was in town today and I asked him please could he pick up some of the satin blend red fabric from the lady at the market. So I now have another meter of this satin red fabric. So now I can, I'm gonna cut some more 12 inch strips, sew them all together, and then I'm going to gather the whole top of this. And then I also got a 36 centimeter red zip. I've now sewn together all of these. So I will now basically stitch and gather the whole thing. Oh my god, that just took absolutely forever. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, gathering eight meters of fabric was hellish. Obviously the strings kept snapping like over and over again. I really wish I had a gathering foot for that bit. That would make it so much easier. The thing that made it awful was that I was just gathering and gathering and gathering and spent ages doing it and then went to go put it on the skirt and I'd gathered too much 
so I then had to like undo but and then strings were snapping again. Oh anyway. Uh, here it is. So I've pinned it to the skirt. I'm gonna attach it to the skirt and just pray that it looks good. I'm just gonna attach this now. This just elevates the dress times a thousand. Oh my god, I love it. Need to put a zip in the back. I gotta like hem all of this. Oh my god, there's a spider literally hanging off the camera. So while I pressed the seam for this, I've also pressed the edges for the bottom, but I'm planning on doing that um, another time because I know it's going to drive me absolutely insane because it's so many meters of fabric. I can't find my zipper foot anywhere. Crazy to think when I'm, I'm this organized that I'd lose it. It was in a tote bag in my living room. Obviously I've not finished like hemming or anything. I'm just trying it on to see if it if it zips. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait to finish the hem and do the buttons. I don't even know if I'm gonna do the buttons because I quite like it like this. <gasps> with how this turned out but one thing I'm super happy with is the cups like I'm so glad that I used like real bra cups because it feels like so secure I just don't think I'm gonna bother with the buttons because I actually really love how it looks without them I feel like I've got a lot of room for like a big dinner for the, uh, for the wedding but also that it like it it just feel, it just fits perfectly around my waist I just I literally made my first dress like that I've ever made in a split the sewing machine last month and I made this without a, a pattern, without a real pattern, you know, I literally drafted the pattern myself and like followed a bunch of random tutorials and I, I made this dress and I couldn't be happier. So I definitely would suggest to anyone who wants to give this a go, just give it a go. It's going to take some patience and it's going to take some like steep learning curves but Honestly, like, I think it's worth it. I know in the long run, if I'd used like boning, if I had a serger for the edges and all that, it would have lasted longer. I'm just gonna take care of it and hope that it does last. And if it doesn't, I can always take it apart and put real boning in anyway. And I'm very excited to show my mum. Send her a little, a little video of it. Right, thank you for watching and if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I make a dress like this, maybe I'll make another one a different colour with long sleeves or something. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!